Welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well with everyone and that you all are having a wonderful week this week. To my new subscribers, welcome. I see I have a few more. I truly do appreciate you. To my old subscribers, those that have been there, welcome back. I appreciate each and every one of you just the same. Today, I will be doing a collective shopping haul of some recent items that I found in the last week or so. So I may be as far back as two weeks. But anyway, we'll just get right into it. And these items are from various stores. I think the majority may be from TJ Maxx, but again, we'll just move right on in. The first thing I have is this cute little blanket. And I thought it was really pretty, vibrant and bright for the spring and summertime. And has the pink and the yellow. There's information on it. It is a 50 by 60 inch. The brand is limited to. And this was actually on clearance for $7.99. You can still see the regular price. I think it's yeah, $10.99. This is from Burlington. All right, the next thing from Burlington is going to be this cute little juicy cosmetic um, case. And this is a four piece bag. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. I bought this set specifically for this little glitter pouch here, but after getting it home, I don't think it's going to work with what I plan to do with it. So I may be returning it. If not, it may be gifted or who knows in an upcoming giveaway. You just have to stay tuned for that. But the price on this set was $14.99. And again, you do have the four pieces. This is a bag itself here at the bottom. And then you have the two smaller like makeup uh, bags or cosmetic pouches here on the top. And then also the actual bag, the clear bag itself. Okay, let me take it out so you guys can get a good view of each piece and the bag without the pieces. Okay, this is what made me actually buy this piece. And I'm still not sure about it. I may can make it work, but it's not giving what I needed it to give. And this is the second little piece. And it just has the pink JC written all over it. These pieces do have the silver hardware. And the inside is pink. All right, I believe the inside is pink on all of them. Let's go back to the glitter pouch. Yes, it's pink as well. And then you have the larger size pouch. Okay, that's how it's made. And it is also pink. Okay, so it's a cute little set. I mean, I like the set. But you know how it is when you buy a certain thing and you have your mindset to use it for a certain purpose. And it just doesn't give what you expected. So like I said, I may keep this set. I don't know, but there it is again. Okay, moving on. I think, let's see, we're still in Burlington, so I picked up these cute little card cases by Juicy Couture, and this is some of their newer releases. And that's how that one is made. Same as the other ones, you have the two card slots here, the zip compartment here, two card slots on the back, you have the hard clasp attached to the zipper pull, and the information on this one, I paid $8.99 for it, and they're calling this the DeVos Sorbet card case so I also was able to get this one now this one is the one that's kind of raised an eyebrow for me because if there's a card case and this orange which is a beautiful orange it is not picking up well on camera but it is a deep pretty orange color let's see if I can okay it's a little bit closer now 
But if there's a card case, I'm hoping that there's a bag or something that goes along with this color. Orange is something that I lack in my collection. And it's the set up the same way as the other. But orange is something that I now lack in my collection. I did have a few orange pieces during the winter months, but I ended up gifting some of those items. And this one is called the DeBoss Orange Red card case. Same price, $8.99. Okay. Also, now that I've placed it down, that's closer to the color there. Also from Burlington. It may be it. I think that's all from Burlington. If not, I'll tell you when I get to it. Okay, from TJ Maxx. I was able to grab a couple of uh, cosmetic and essential bags. And these are from the Ray Dunn collection. And this black one here. And it has everything on it. And that's probably what will be in here. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. And there's the inside of it. It's just black with that wipeable material. And it has her pet name on the little tag there, Ray Dawn. I do have two other coordinating pieces that came as a set. And it's this cute little set here. And this is the smaller size and I guess you would say a medium size cosmetic bag and on this first one it says cosmetic and it does come with this little tassel here on the zipper pull and the other one says essentials also comes with a tassel on the zipper pull you have silver hardware and I don't want to open these they have the little thing on there that prevents you from opening them but I just want to peek at the inside and it's black on the inside as well. And the reason I'm not opening these is because they were bought for gifts for someone. So, yeah, I think they would be pretty nice gifts. And this one for the set was $9.99. And the larger one was $7.99. Now, they did have a little small, thin, matching traveling blanket that went along with this, but the one that we saw in the store was damaged, and I did really want to get that one as well, so I'm still on the hunt for it. It's in a black little pouch, drawstring pouch, I believe. No, zipper pouch. And it's just a little thin blanket on the inside for, like, if you're traveling on a plane or even just date night, and you want to just cuddle up. But anyway, moving on, I'm still on the hunt for that blanket. The next thing from TJ Maxx is this cute, the tiny little Steve Madden wristlet. I thought this was too cute. And I think I saw somebody show this in a walkthrough. I'm not sure who it was, but it was in the color pink, I believe. Now, I wish this one was pink, but I am happy with this little khaki color as well because I do need to go back to neutrals. For whatever reason, now I'm back on my pink kick. I had gotten away from it. I stated that previously in my earlier videos, but I'm just showing you that it has this back zip compartment here. You do have this little open slot here on the side, along with four card slots here. It does come with a wristlet, which is not detachable. And then you have, or am I mistaken? Oh, I'm wrong about that. It can come off. You have the little spring clasp, a little loop on here that you can push in there to remove it. So, yes, it does come off. Then you have two compartments here. You have this little slot here in the front, and then you have an open space here. And I just thought these was really cute, as I've stated in several videos before. If it's tiny and cute, then I'm more than likely I will grab it. If I don't use it, I'll find something to do with it. But I just thought it was a nice little piece to have, a quick grab and go, or you can use it inside of a larger size bag if you need to. Because it's, it's of a good size. I don't have the largest hands, but it pretty much takes up most of my hand. So, let's see. The next thing, I do have a piece from Burlington that I overlooked. And it's this cute little AirPods case. It's an ice cream stick or popsicle or ice cream i guess that's ice cream on a stick with the little sprinkles on the top and i just thought this was really cute 
Of course, it's pink. And I paid $5.99 for it. Okay. The next little item from TJ Maxx is this cute little set here. And I do have the larger size of the Nicki Minaj uh, perfume collection. But I wanted something small and cute that I could throw in my bags. And this was right on time. I still like and enjoy these fragrances by her. The price for this was $19.99. Okay, next from CJ Mix, I picked up this comb set. Did I need more combs? No. Will I use them? Yes. Did Why did I get them? Pink. The pink does it every time. But you get a set of eight different style combs and the price for these were $4.99 also from TJ Maxx well no let's get these from TJ Maxx I ran across this Barbie sugar scrub I hadn't seen the bath bombs yet. I've seen several people show them since I picked this up. I've had this now for maybe about a week, maybe. I have shown some of these things over on Instagram for those of you who follow me there. So you will get to see things before the actual video comes up here on YouTube. So if you want to know things that I find here and there, I usually post on Instagram first. But this is the Barbie Cherry Scented Sugar Scrub. And the price for this was $5.99. And I was kind of mad about it when I got in the store because there were four. And my intent was to buy all of them because I know several of the ladies here on YouTube are into Barbie. So I was going to grab them up and try to have them on hand for those of you who may have wanted one. But they were open. So I asked one of the workers in the store, did they have any more? And when she discovered that they had been open, she took them off the shelf and said that she could not sell them to me. So, and that was all they had. But I am on the hunt because I have had one person that did state specific over on IG that they would like to have one. So, you know who you are if you're watching. If I find it, it's yours. But moving on to the next item. This was from Ross. And I think this is the only thing I picked up from y'all. But it was this pretty little uh, Paris Hilton mascara set. And it's a three-piece collection. And it comes in the, the light pink, like a rose gold color. And there in the middle, it's looking like gold, but it's actually like a rose gold. And then you have the darker pink and white, I guess, sort of like ombre on the last one. Okay, and each one of these have different, uh, I can't see what that gold one is, but the pink one is massive volume, and the one at the bottom says infinite volume. And I'm trying to see what the one in the middle is. Oh, extreme curl. So this one here is the extreme curl, massive volume and infinite volume. And I just thought the packaging on here was pretty, so of course I grabbed it up, and it was $4.99. Okay, and I think that's everything from Ross. Okay, we're down to a little miscellaneous items. I did find a couple of pieces in five below, one of which I have been on the hunt for a while now. But we'll do this one first. And this is a little Hershey's Power Bank. I just thought these were too cute. Something, you know, different to put in your purse. And that's how the packaging is on that. And it does come with the little power bank here you do have an on off button you have it's portable and rechargeable so i did pick this one up again too cute and next uh -oh, sit up. this one here i have already i was so excited to find it i came right home and opened it so i could charge it to see how it works and i have used it so it is out of the where the package has been open, as you can see, I have the charger cord here in my hand. But it was this one here. I saw Miss Toya show this one a little while back, 
and I was on the hunt for it. I even tried to Google search and everything. Nothing was coming up. So in five below, just out and about, not looking for anything in specific, and walked right into them. I was so excited. Miss Toya has the cutest things on her channel. If you are not subscribed to her or not familiar with who she is, you need to go over and check her out. This little ice cream cone, and this too is also a little power bank. It has the little plugs here on the bottom. And like I said, I was so excited to find it when I saw it. I came right in and put it to use. It does have a little bit of weight to it, so be mindful if you're carrying a smaller bag. It may just be a little bit heavy for you, but it's just too cute. All right, so last but certainly not least um, in this haul, I have put a lot of these items off because I was waiting for an item to come and the item was ordered but one were sold out and then come to find out one showed up just in time. This was a Mother's Day gift for me and I was so excited to get it again. I saw this over on Miss Toya's channel because our store, they did not have them available in store. It was online only. So since I had not seen it, I was waiting to see for someone to show it, to show, you know, um, the true color and what it could possibly hold. And Miss Toya showed it, and I was convinced. So I went on and told hubby, expressed to him how bad I wanted it, and he was able to get it for me just in time for Mother's Day. Isn't that pretty? Like I said, Miss Toya said herself, the pictures online does not do this any justice. This is just the cutest little thing to me, the size first of all, and then the colors, the light khaki with their color pink together. Of course, you know you're going to get a what's in my bag on here. I also, was, you see, I've been playing with it already. So I have my little charm showing y'all stuff before it's time. But I was able to get the little corn pouch too. Now, I did miss out on the accessories because they were sold out. And our stores don't tend to get a lot of the newer items in. I don't know why they'll get just maybe the larger size purses or whatever. They'll get those in before they get the other items in. And sometimes we don't get anything in. We just have to take our chances with online orders. But anywho, Miss Toya, <laughs> again, came through and showed some card cases and some pieces that would go well with this bag that I am currently waiting on from Shein. So once they come in, then you guys will get to see the what's in my bag on this. But okay, guys, that wraps up this haul. I hope you all enjoyed it and found some pieces that you could put to use. Hopefully, some of these things are still available in store. I'm going to try to do better about coming on with my hauls once I find things because I know places like TJ Maxx, Ross, and other stores, they have limited supply. So, if you're in search of a certain thing, you may miss out. But anyway, that wraps up this haul. Again, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.